Um, the last uh, startup that I exited, uh, and that was a multi-million dollar exit, it was doing healthcare automation. So basically, there is the doctor's office, there is the, all the procedures the doctors made, goes to this billing company, billing company fixes all the issues, goes to the insurance, insurance pays the doctor. The billing company would take seven days to fix those issues and send it to the insurance. What we were invited, one of the largest billing companies in the country came and told us, automate it, help us fire these people. I was like, okay. So it was a multi-million dollar uh, deal. We had to build software to re replicate what these people were doing. And we very proudly replaced almost 90% of the workforce with software that would do what they would do in seven days in one sixth of a second. And software doesn't need holidays, breaks, you know, they just work 24 seven. And that pushed their profitability through the roof. Now, the question you should be asking is, were well, the 10% we couldn't fire? The 10% were the relationship managers. The relationship managers are the people that the doctors connect with. And the doctors know that these are the people that I have my relationship with, they represent the company. And for the last 10 years, they have been taking care of me and I trust them. And those people, we didn't move. The doctors had no clue that this company has become so profitable, so fast, so efficient. The doctor doesn't need to know. So that's what is tomorrow gonna look like. A lot of automation, driverless cars, everything is going to be done with less humans and more technology. But then humans have their place. If you look at the industrial revolution, in the industrial revolution, uh, a lot of time opened up for people. And as a result, the movie industry, the radio industry, entertainment became a big thing. People wanted to entertain themselves. And that's gonna happen more as we see today. People are constantly on YouTube, on Facebook. What are they watching? They're watching content. They're entertaining themselves. Even at work, people are entertaining themselves, right? And that's gonna be more and more. As more things get automated, people are gonna work less, earn more, and have disposable income to entertain themselves through virtual reality, through augmented reality, to whatever else that the future holds for us. We have no idea what technology, but that's the future. So be a creator, don't be a consumer. I mean, consume if you have to, to create. But if you just consume, you are the reason why others are making money and you're getting poorer. Your time is going away. You're getting older every moment. So learn that, know that, that you have to build certain skills, whatever creativity you have. If you don't have creativity, fine. Be nice to others. Learn how to deal with other human beings. Relationship management is going to be big. Negotiations are big. Machines don't do that. Advertising, marketing, psychology. Being a human is what we have an advantage over machines. Machines can do what we tell them to do. They cannot feel, they cannot experience, they cannot make you feel something, they cannot make you experience something. Only conscious beings, having an atma, having a soul, can make others connect with them in a way that they feel loved, respected, honored, etc. These are feelings, and feelings are getting more and more rare because of all the automation and the mechanistic way of life. So learn to be a human. For the next 20 years, if you want to survive, get human skills, interpersonal skills, get legal skills, get skills related to, to entertainment, so creating content, creating whatever content, whether it's audio, video, text, holographic content, I don't know. But, but learn to sell, learn to emote, all of those things that only humans can do, focus on those things because that's what we are going to be left to do. And if you have those skills, you will thrive in 2030, in 2040, in 2090, uh, if you live that long, uh, and thereafter, right? So, so that's what, what you need to thrive tomorrow. Be a human.